Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Battle Space Gaming, and today I'm going to be reacting to another episode of Batman the Animated Series. The Clock King. Oh no, so something bad's going to happen on the subway. You know it. We've only been taking the same train every day for. You seem pretty tightly wound this morning. You... There's been a $20 million judgment against my company. If that judge sees you looking as tense and haggard as you are now, he'll think you were up to something. Get out of your routine for a few minutes. Then take it at 3.15. But my schedule... I needed those five minutes ago. Put that in a thermos, Miss Perkins. <laughs> he looks so uncomfortable. <laughs> ah! Ooh. Ah! <gasps> He's gonna get in the water. Oh, the dogs didn't knock him in the water. <laughs> Summary judgment against him stands at $20 million. Then perhaps this will teach you to be on time for a change. Seven years later. Holy crud. Oh no. The traffic signals are malfunctioning. What the devil? Uh oh. I fear this does not bode well for his campaign. And that may be exactly the point. We're ready to get back. Oh. Time for a change. He changed. No, oh, he's going up. <laughs> the Batman. It's about time you showed up. Talk. A pity. The 9.15 is always six minutes early. Wow. What kind of saboteur uses a $6,000 Metronex to trigger a time bomb? Temple Fugit, 362, Brayfogel. Let's go, Alfred. Alfred's actually, like, being able to, like, go along this time. This is kind of cool. It appears Mr. Fugit's neighborhood has seen better days. Guys, like, obsessed. There's been a slight blackout, just one city block. No doubt some malefactors blacked out the bank to disable the locks on the vault. Batman. This box contains a high-speed vacuum pump. Of course, if you want to get blown to bits, that's fine with me. Either way, it's time to say I do, Batman. Oh, I declare Gotham Central Station officially open. What is he doing? Yeah, who can't even get a single subway train to arrive on time? <laughs> this is the second time the Batman has almost started in a bank vault. 315 on the dot. Those hands will come together, and you'll be crushed like an insect. Fugit! I swear I was only trying to help. Don't hand me that. Now that you have an appointment to keep at 3.15 precisely with the Grim Reaper. I'm here to clean your clock, Fugit. <laughs> Don't count on it, Batman. Let's go up and get the mayor. Batman, go. news footage of you, and I know that it takes you exactly a twentieth of a second to throw a punch. She stopped him from hitting him. You of all people should know, there's always a way out. You got Go get the- How could anyone survive a wreck like this? If I could, he could. In fact, I'd say it's only a matter of time. Hmm. It, it, it was a very cool way to bring about a new character. And of course, 315, like, of course he would get mad at the mayor for making him late for that. Like, that is just funny to me that, like, they made it that way because that is so 
predictable, but I am absolutely loving the show. I want to watch more. I just want to binge it completely, and I am loving it. It is so good. I actually found his demeanor and his character arc and his story interesting. Um, I feel like his story is up there with the man bat that we saw like in the very beginning of the series i feel like his is up there because it had the elements of human error in it you know man bat was messing around with chemicals because he's a scientist and he ended up making himself into a mutant and now this guy, he was obsessed, he's like obsessed with time and schedules, and then he's told to abandon his schedule, and then, and then wind blew away all, all of his papers and all that, so that kind of had an element of human error as well. So I feel like this is really good, I cannot wait to watch more. <laughs>